Okay, welcome back. Alright, so, uh, where to begin? Where to begin? So, we all know that on, I think it's called Route 2, I'll actually show you, right, right down here. So, there I was with Mr. Krabs, Alice, and Philip, and we were all down here, down here, in this specific patch of grass, right here, and we were just just leveling up, getting some experience, getting some moves, and uh, I discovered that this patch of grass has an entirely different, uh, for, for whatever reason, this specific patch of grass uh, was coated differently from the grass below it. Uh, a common misconception for this piece of grass is that this grass is uh, a different route than the one that's on the other side of Viridian Forest. However, this grass right here is actually the same. Um, for whatever reason, it had a different encounter table. So there I was, uh, training up, and I realized this. I, I was there for probably an hour just continually re-encountering, trying to make sure that it wasn't the same, and I, uh, I got a very good look at what was there, and what I ended up doing is I, what I did was I just sat down and was like, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna encounter one thing, catch it, train it up to the same level as everything else at level 18, and then we'll move on with the game. So... Uh, I'll just do a quick team recap for you, right here. So first we got Alice at level 19. 64. A really good number for your HP to be at. Dragon and Psychic, excellent stats. Psywave, which is meh. Thunder, which has been pretty good to us. And Swift, which has been swifter and kinder than all of the other moves. Then we have Philip. Philip is actually doing a lot better now. Uh, better stats. He's a little bit bigger. Uh, we're about halfway there to, uh, to getting him to evolve, if what I read was correct. So we got Focus Energy, we got Tackle, we got Ember. Focus Energy, I'm not gonna mess with too much, especially since it's Gen 1. Uh, I wouldn't use Focus Energy that much anyways in later games. It's just not really my, my style. But, uh, yeah. And Growl. We'll get rid of Growl in, in good old in our good time. And then we have Mr. Krabs. So Mr. Krabs, oh my goodness, look at that attack and defense. Oh my goodness, look at that move set. So Bubble Beam and Vice Grip are amazing. They were one-shotting everything. Uh, suffice to say, the stuff I was encountering were level 4 and 5, but still, but still. If I encounter something level 10, logically, uh, that would still do a good deal of damage. Plus, it's a strong water type and a strong attacker. So, we got Mr. Krabs, who is extremely epic. And here, the newest member of the team, added by accident almost, uh, powerful, strong, stanky Susan at level 18 with 60, not quite 69. HP. Salamence. Yes. I was very happy, but uh, also I was also very much not recording. So I will leave it up to the comments to decide whether we should keep Stanky Susan, since technically it's maybe illegal, just because I already... You know, I didn't go in that grass, but off-camera I did, and I did train a great deal in that grass off-camera. So I'll let you guys decide whether we should keep Stanky Susan, but for this episode and the next episode, I'm going to keep Stanky Susan, and we'll just see how Stanky Susan do. Uh, headbutt, double edge, leer, and bite. Uh, not much to say there, just it is what it is. Strong, stanky Susan. And that's the team. So, without further ado, we will head off this way. We're done here. 
I'm done seeing this town. I'm done running back and forth between that between that freaking Pokemon Center. It's been a long, long time. Um, did I already battle this guy? Who do I want to? I guess I'll have Alice in front. Yep, I already did. Okay, good. You know what that means? That means we have everybody on this route up to this grass taken care of. And we already have the route, the encounter, taken care of as well. Let's see. Route 3? I don't understand how this map works. Okay, so Route 3 we've got computer, Route 3, Mount Moon. So Mount Moon and then Route 4 are our next encounters before we reach Cerulean. And then of course we'll have Route 24, but... I think we should just focus on getting through Mount Moon first, don't you think, don't you think? Down here, over here, hello. I did not touch you. You know, in every other playthrough I've done of this, she usually runs out of the grass towards me because of course I'm staying as far away from her as I possibly can. That's a very nice sprite. Um, and what always happens is she's like, Eek, did you just touch me? And I'm like, no, I, 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 I didn't. I was over here and you were just, you were just over there doing your thing. I mean, we weren't even close to each other at all. Actually, since uh, since I have a type advantage here, I'm going to show you how epic Mr. Krabs is. Boom. Take this, you fool. Mr. Krabs with the win. I mean, technically, I, I could have kept that experience all to one, but uh, I also technically couldn't, so there's that. Um... I'm not going to search for too many hidden items. Uh, not that there is one there, I can't remember if there is. But, if there is one, uh, I'm going to leave that alone. Just because I don't want to spend all of my time, all of my time trying to do that. Route 3, Mount Moon ahead. Mount Moon? So yeah, I'm if if I if I if there is if there are hidden items here or there, more than likely I'll just go back for them. I think that's a, a better plan than me just sort of uh, fiddling away uselessly until I get what I need. Ooh, uh, actually, we have an encounter here. You? No. Um you. No. No. You. Yes. A magic cup just for five hundred dollars, please, Lombre. We don't. Did we sell? Did we get a leaf stone and then sell it? I feel like that's something that happened. I feel like that's something that happened. Nickname the Lombre. Lombre is a good Pokemon, though. Uh, still don't have names in the comments. Uh. This episode and the next one, I'm going to record. Then I'm going to do a hard stop for maybe a week. Be so just to, to let some, any amount of comment come in to ask for, for uh, nicknames. But in the meantime, um, we're going to name him uh, this. Voltron. Yes. Let's take a hot look at Voltron. Ooh, level 5 though. Mm. Tell you what. Tell you what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is I am going to keep him in the party, but I'm not going to use him until we get through Mount Moon. I'll, I'll have to train him up when we get to the other side. Um... But yeah, so there's that. Do we have, we have 10 Pokeballs. Okay, that should be good enough. Don't know why I'm saving. Um, that should be good enough. 
We should be good. What's it gonna be? Say it in the comments, what do you think it's gonna be? We actually already had this encounter on a different route. One second, I'm having something wrong with my computer. We actually already had this encounter somewhere else. So, uh, just checking the notes. Yes, we had this encounter in Viridian Forest. So we're going to not keep him. In fact, we're going to do the opposite of keep him. We're going to destroy him because we're going to re-encounter. Which makes me think, what it, what is what is he uh, uh, randomized to? That is new. Meditype. Okay, that's psychic. So okay, so there are dark type moves, but there aren't dark type Pokemon immunities and other such things. So, um, I don't know what to say about that really. Uh, we need someone who has, someone who has maybe just a tiny bubble, just a tiny bubble that we can throw at this Meditite. Are you ready, Mr. Krabs? Bubble. Don't kill. Don't do it. Oh! Got him. Got him. That's what you want to see. Actually, uh, no, that, we're fine, we're fine. I was gonna switch out, but Meditate's a psychic type, so it's not super effective. There we are, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, that puts us at a full team of six. Which makes me very happy. Bone Keeper. No, this, that's not the, no, that's for, that's for, uh, that's for Cubone or Marowak or something. Nickname. Again, uh... I'm gonna call him... Bony. TM19. Seismic Toss. That could be a good one. For Bony! So, Seismic Toss is a move that does the exact same damage as the level of the Pokémon that's using the move. So technically it's not a, an amazing move, but I am going to teach it to Bony just because, uh, number one, it frees up space, and number two, uh, why the heck not? Oh, and I didn't teach Sword Stance to anyone. I guess I could teach it to Mr. Krabs? I'm already losing track. None of these names mean anything to me. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to write this down. Okay, Voltron was the... Lombre. Yes. So, Lombre can learn Swords Dance. I'm gonna teach, teach it to Mr. Krabs, actually. Yes. Yes, yes, actually. Get rid of Harden. We have freed up all the space in our inventory, and I'm gonna throw a quick save here. Not sure why, I don't know why I'm saving, this is not a, the thing that you would save, it doesn't matter if I screw up, it's just done. Um, what do I do now? Uh, go up? Oh. More TMs. Did they all just get randomized to TMs? Oh! Oh, baby! You have to be kidding me. What? Is this for real? Okay then, um... Whatever, yeah. We're just pimping out all of our Pokémon right now, just, just really getting them all super powered right now. That's really epic. Um, Bony's not looking too good. 
we could go back and heal them. I'm not suspicious. If anything suspicious, you are standing next to a, a blast of fire. Oh, that's an interesting looking thing. Um, I'm just gonna headbutt. I think flinches are a thing. No, they're not. At least not that hit. Now? Yes, flinches! Let's get those sweet flinches. Magorn, that's not gonna do nothing. Nothing. Take that out of here. Rhyperior. That's a lot of experience. <gasps> okay, uh, super important rule that I forgot to mention in the very, very, very first episode. Uh, so there's multiple clauses that happen in a, a randomizer, and usually they're set. Like, uh, the shiny clause. If you run into a shiny Pokemon in Gen 2 or later, you can catch it limit one per route, right. Um, but I have a very specific clause that's special to me specifically. If I ever encounter a Mew in the wild, a Mew, I can catch it, or I can attempt to catch it, limit one per route. Uh, the Mew clause. That doesn't mean if there's, if there's a Mew on the route and I already encountered, because if I have already encountered Actually, well, it's sort of fuzzy. I, I, I haven't... Obviously, it just came back to mind. I haven't really... If I run into Mew, I'm allowed to try and catch it. If I have one Mew on my party already, I can't catch it. So, I, so long as I don't have a Mew, I'm allowed to try and catch a Mew. This Mew obviously doesn't belong to me. But I thought I would bring that up while it was... Uh, while it was important and prevalent. The Mew Claws. Very important. Love Mew. It's my favorite Pokemon. Stanky Susan got 19. I got him. Okay, let's see. Yep. Your friends will find you here. If you're standing right in front of the cave entrance, I'm sure they will. This this is another thing about uh, randomizers that's uh, very interesting. Just that uh, this is a fire type in a cave, which isn't super unheard of in Pokemon. But usually, you know, you'd expect rock types and ground types in here, so you'd have water type or grass type Pokemon out in the forefront. You wouldn't have fire type or dragon type Pokemon. You wouldn't have dragon type Pokemon. To begin with. So, um. Oh, hey, Magmar. I wouldn't have been unhappy about getting you. I need to conserve. I need to conserve my, uh. my levels. I have, uh. I spent a long time poring over a map of Mount Moon, trying to make sure that I knew what was going on. So I don't exactly know what to expect or where I'm going. Um, but I have a little bit, like, I don't think this is leading out, I think this is leading towards items, but items are something that we do need now. More now than ever, so... Oh, dear. You are gangsters, indeed you are. That's interesting. Yeah, back in these days they had, uh, whips instead of lollipops. If you played, uh, Let's Go games. Typhlosion? More like Diflosion. Oh dang, I blew him up. Stinky Susan, take him out. I'm trying to learn focus energy. Um Yeah. We'll get rid of Lear. Apom. Yeah, let's switch to Philip. Let's get Philip some levels so that he can get closer to 
to an evolution. Man. That's... So, for... Fire Blast, I don't know how much damage it does in this gen. And it doesn't... There's, I don't think there's any way to find out, actually. But, what I do know is that Fire Blast, in other games, does quite a, quite a deal of damage. So, uh... As well as having an incredible chance to miss. So I'm not going to use that. Oh, don't start. Don't start that. Apom, you jerk. Electros. Uh... No. The reason I said no is because I am a ground and fire type. So, with that ground, I resist... Uh not just poison attacks, but also electric attacks. So, uh... Actually, I don't resist electric attacks. I'm immune to electric attacks. Very important, uh, difference right there. Burn? No. This isn't going as well as I would hope it would. Oh, well, that's alright. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Trying to learn Amnesia. What does Amnesia do in this game, though? We'll get rid of Focus Energy. I believe Amnesia raises your... your... attack and defense, or just maybe your defense? Maybe you're just your specials? What are you? Starly? No, we're, we're not going to do that. That's important. Um, I'm actually going to... There's a hidden item over here somewhere. I'm going to try to save as many... Um, as many elixirs and, and ethers as I possibly can for when we fight Steve in the Elite Four. Because those are going to be just incredibly important uh, in, the, in the end. Not gonna fight you. And actually, I should probably switch out to someone who... Uh, I'm gonna switch to Philip. And... Do I have a potion? I still have that Poke Doll. I probably should have deposited it. Mm, I can't find the item. Duosion. There's a familiar face. Yeah, I, I can't find it. I'm not. I'm again. I'm not gonna flounder around in the darkness trying to find one item that could or could not be good. And yeah, it. I'm definitely going to end up passing a lot of, uh, quote unquote, good items. But you know. You know, it's it's not that big of big of a sacrifice, really. You know, in the end, you sacrifice just a just a tiny bit of just a tiny bit of time. You sa you sacrifice getting an item, but you save a lot of time. That's what I should have said. Super nerd wants to fight. Hi, Azumarill. Uh... Azumarill's a water type, so, uh... I should definitely be in with... Technically... Ah, oh, what level was it? I almost want to send Voltron out, but... I don't... I'm gonna send out Alice. Yeah, that was a good call. So, Azumarill's a physical attacker, and... Uh... Azumarill will also body freaking Lombres that are at a low level. I think Lombre might only know Absorb at its current level. Wobbuffet. Change Pokemon? Uh... Yeah.
Swords Dance, attack greatly rose. I'm doing this so I can one-shot it and not have to worry about it countering me. Okay, we're full up. Get screwed on. Holy crap. Well, um, okay, that's fine. You want to know why that's fine? Because that reminds me of the next thing that I wanted to add as a, as a, uh, as a thing that I just mysteriously forgot to mention up until now, and that is revives. So, uh, starting... Now, I think uh, the starter and any uh, the starter Pokemon and the highest level Pokemon will both get a revive, and however that changes throughout time will be whatever. Mr. Krabs, however, is dead. He is dead. He just died. He's gone. So, uh, so much for that. But I mean, come on! Like, really, I, I did everything I could to do to get that Wobbuffet dead, and it, and they didn't die. This might be a uh, Salamence solo run. Thirty-two. I feel like we've picked this one up before. Double team. No. We will actually sell that as soon as we can. That's so useful. <laughs> uh, no. I thought about it, but we're gonna not. Oh, dear. That's something to wake you up. We're gonna just roll... Ooh. Very nice. We're gonna roll right past that. And we are going to actually end the episode here. I've been going on for a very long time, I think. I forgot to set my timer. Yes, I forgot to set the timer. So, we're going to stop the episode right here. In the next episode, we will uh, get out of this cave without losing any more Pokemon. Any more team members. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna roll with that rule of the uh, the starter gets one revive, and the highest level Pokemon at the time gets a revive. And uh, if the highest level Pokemon gets revived once, then no other highest level Pokemon will be able to be revived in the same fashion again. I think that's fair because that way it it allows us to not be completely crippled if we lose a member because. Uh, like uh, like we had it here with Mr. Krabs. We were lucky that we had so many encounters. And also, uh, Stanky Susan, who technically is an encounter. I feel like Stanky Susan should be an encounter. But I'm going to leave that up to the comments uh, uh, next time. So, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh... Go ahead and comment down below if you think we should keep Stanky Susan, and comment uh, what Pokemon you'd like. Uh, if I run into that Pokemon, or if I run into a Pokemon, I'll be sure to give you the, the nickname for that Pokemon. And the best news is, there's so few people on the channel right now, that if you comment below, you have a 100% chance of being named after any Pokemon that you want. And with that, I'll see you all on the flip side.